In honor of Women's History Month, I decided to dig a little deeper into my maternal grandmother's life. Alice McDuff, born 1889, dies 1957. She was born in Fall River, Massachusetts. Her mother and father both immigrated from Quebec. I don't have a lot of photographs of her. In this image, she's somewhere around 24 years of age. She was living in New Bedford at the time, and the family was featured in the 1910 census. In 1910, the family lived around the corner from one of the largest fabric mills in New Bedford, Massachusetts, and I imagine that the family could hear that machinery going day and night. In fact, she worked in a mill as a spinner, like these men posed in front of their machinery. And so did most of her brothers and sisters, except for one, who I later learned died of asthma in 1912. The family frequently traveled back to Quebec, and on one of those trips, she met my grandfather. They married in 1916 here in the United States, but soon after moved back to Canada. Not long after the birth of their oldest daughter, they moved back to the United States and lived in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. They went on to have five additional children, one of which died as a baby. I love this photograph of my grandmother and grandfather together. It's taken in the early 1940s, and it wasn't very long after this that he discovered that he had terminal cancer. Unfortunately, I never really knew this woman. I only know her through the stories told by my cousins, my mom, and my mom's siblings. She lives in their stories, and I've learned about the family gatherings, what she liked to cook, her favorite things, her least favorite things, and what she was like as a person. But the photographs to me help tell the story. So I'm going to ask, what do you know about your maternal grandmother? Set out to discover more about her for Women's History Month.